everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here with today's religion lesson. This is time number two for me recording this. Jake decided it would be a good idea to go ahead and chew one of my favorite sweatshirts. Can you hardly believe? So we are going to go ahead and get this lesson started. Um, that's why these two answers are already filled in here if you see them. So today we're going to be talking about events of Holy Week because guess what? We are in the middle of it right now now today is tuesday our um past sunday was palm sunday and this upcoming sunday is easter sunday all of these days are happening this week oh my gosh that's so exciting so what we are going to do is make sure that we can take all of our knowledge we can take everything that we've learned from the past week or so about the three days, about Palm Sunday, about Easter Sunday, and we're going to put our knowledge to the test here. This is not a test. Um, we are going to be filling out this worksheet together. So I need this worksheet and a pencil or a paper in front of you, pencil or paper, pencil or pen, in front of you, so we can work on this together. All good? Pause the video if you're not. Okay, cool, we're all good. Here it says events of Holy Week. Directions. Write the letter of each day of Holy Week next to the corresponding events that happened on that day. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading these sentences and trying to figure out which day of Holy Week it happened. If they match up, if they're corresponding, we're going to go ahead and write the letter on the line next to it. Okay, that's all that corresponding means. Um, and then it says star star. Answers will be used more than once because we have so many questions here and we have five days here. Okay? Awesome sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. Question mark? We'll do the two ones now. Even the answers are already here. All right. So number one says Jesus washes his apostles' feet. We know it's B, Holy Thursday, because Holy Thursday is when the Last Supper took place. And we know that Jesus washing his disciples' feet happened right after the Last Supper. Okay? C is the answer for number two. It says, Jesus is crowned with thorns. That's Good Friday. Remember, on Good Friday, we read stories about Jesus' death. And we pray. Right? Um, and we are reminded of Jesus' dying and rising to new life. So, that would go with C, Good Friday. All right, the next one. The people of Jerusalem welcome Jesus with cries of Hosanna in the highest. Which day do you think that happened? Awesome. Wonderful. That happened on Palm Sunday. Remember, people lined the streets of Jerusalem with palms in their hands and they put them before Jesus as he rode into town on his donkey and everybody there was praising him, Hosanna in the highest. Wonderful. B, C, and A. The next one, Jesus dies on the cross. Which day do we talk about Jesus' death? And listen to those stories. Jesus dies on the cross. Wonderful, great job, that's Good Friday. Oh, I also just wanna point out, when we talk about Good Friday, we're not saying that what happened on Good Friday was good. I think a lot of you might be a little bit confused on that. When we talk about Good Friday, we're talking about that it's holy, it's religious. So it's kind of like the same thing as saying religious Friday or holy Friday, right? But we just say Good Friday. Cool, next one. Here it says, Jesus prays in the garden of Gethsemane while his disi disciples, his apostles, fell asleep. So we didn't talk about when that happened, I think, but it happened right before the Last Supper, or right after the Last Supper. It happened on the same day as the Last Supper. When do we talk about the Last Supper? Wonderful, awesome job. That's Holy Thursday. Holy Thursday. 
Awesome. Next, Jesus carries his cross. What days do we talk about the stations of the cross? Remember, the stations of the cross is the story of Jesus' death. Nice, you got it. It's Good Friday. Jesus carries his cross on Good Friday. Next, adults who are joining the church are baptized on this day. We definitely talked about this. What day is really, really special for people who are getting baptized? Awesome, you got it. It's Holy Saturday. Holy Saturday is when adults who are joining the church are baptized. Awesome job. Next, the apostles celebrate the Passover meal with Jesus. We are experts on this one. What day was that? Awesome. When Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his apostles, with the apostles, that was um, the Last Supper. And the Last Supper we celebrate on Holy Thursday. The next one, a day of fasting in the church. A day of fasting in the church. This one might be a little bit tricky, but it's actually Good Friday. It's another way for us to reflect on the sacrifices that Jesus has made for us, and we can show him that we can sacrifice for him as well. Awesome. And the last one, I think you've already guessed the answer here, the last sentence. The women find the tomb empty, and an angel tells them that Jesus has risen. What day did Jesus rise to new life? Was it Palm Sunday? Mm -mm. Holy Thursday? Mm -mm. Good Friday? Mm -mm. Holy Saturday? No, you got it. It is Easter Sunday, and that is why Easter is such a joyous and celebrated holiday. Awesome. Wonderful job. You did amazing with this events of Holy Week. Now, if you'd like to, you can go ahead and take the time to color in the cross. If you don't want to, don't worry about it, but just please make sure that your name is on the top. Awesome. Wonderful job, everybody. Love you lots and miss you a bunch, and I'll see you later.